Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So what I'm to doing today is I'm trying to get ready to work on Rogue and I'll be doing that uh, next couple days. And I figured I'd show you what I was doing right now. So I had these old uh, uh, wheels off my welding table and I got these at an estate sale for, I think for free, if I remember correctly. And they're just legs for like a table or something. And then there's this thing, which I'm going to build a frame table out of and I'm gonna set it up so that I can flip it over with the legs and wheels on the bottom and roll around the shop. And then that way I can level it out and build frames and stuff on top of it. And this is one of the machines that you would have put a pallet on and it would wrap the cellophane on the uh, pallets. This is the machine that they used to do that. I believe that's what this was. <clears throat> so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking these big uh, solenoids or whatever these are popping these off here and throwing those in the metal pile and then I'm gonna uh, it's got these half-inch pads I'm gonna grind those smooth so I can set those legs on top of them, and then I'll weld those up get them nice and level and square and plumb and then I'll have it upside down and then I'll flip the table over like this so it should work out pretty good all right so I pulled all the electronics and stuff off this got the boxes off here and I was looking at these boxes they're solid metal which is pretty cool. And these are the, I guess the bearings would have went here. So these would have been the sliders on here. And these are really heavy, solid steel. So that's pretty cool. That'll make something neat. I mean, build something out of them for like the welding table, maybe some 90 degree deals or something. I don't know. But anyways, I got these ground down. These are all ready to get welded on. I got to grind a spot in the morning to hook the ground. And then I'll start cutting down the legs in the morning. Maybe I'll film some more, maybe I won't, I'm not sure yet. And then uh, I'll shorten down the legs where I want them. And I think this one I only wanted uh, probably about where it's sitting right now. You know, so I could put a whole car on there or just a, well, I don't know, I'll probably go a little bit higher. We'll see what happens. That way, you know, you could build frames on it or you could uh, put a whole damn car on it. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here for the night. I'm exhausted. It's been a really, really long day. Got a lot of stuff done, but I'm beat. So you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. Later. So it's the next morning and I'm messing around with this and I was looking at these pads that are on the bottom of these and this is six inch by six inch square pad. I don't really care about um, I don't really care about bolting these on so I'm just gonna weld them on. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of change my plans around a little bit. I checked these with my, uh, with a machinist square. And these are square here and here. So they're square both ways. So whoever capped these off did a really good job. Took the time on them. All four of these are completely square. Which that'll, you know, when I, if I use this for the, to come off of here, it'll be nice and square. So the legs will sit nice. And I got to get my measurement from there to there and figure out my height. I want it to be uh, about three feet off the ground, something like that. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna measure it and check it out. I want it to be a little bit lower than the welding table. That way, if I have a car or a frame or something like that, I can kind of scoot it over on there if it's something that's not heavy. But if it's too heavy, then I have that uh, the trolley that I can pick it up and just sit it on the welding table. And I'm waiting for my mag drill right now. So hopefully that'll show up next couple of days. We'll see what happens. Got a lot of stuff going on. Um, tried to mow, mow my property or finished mowing my property yesterday and broke this. Um, one of the things I noticed is the brakes need to be adjusted. When you try to stop, it just doesn't stop. It just keeps on rolling. So you gotta turn the throttle down. Um, the bearing went out in this. So I gotta order a bearing for that today, but I gotta drop that deck and get it uh, up in the air and get that deck out of the way so I can get it uh, ordered or whatever. So anyways, um, I'd like to get this done because I want to get that frame for the unibody outside. I want to get it out of my way. It needs to be sandblasted and stuff, but I just don't, I don't want it in the shop right now. I want to start working on Rogue and that's my plan. So I'm going to get some measurements. I'll get these ground down and maybe get those spot welded on there and start building some gussets. We'll see what happens. And then I'll take the SkyTrack and flip this bitch over because this thing is heavy, really, really heavy. So I'll get on that and uh, maybe film some more a bit. Well, I thought about it a lot and I decided I want to make it where it's 
almost the same height as that or right at the same height as that table and this table. These are both at 37 and a quarter, I believe it was. I don't remember. Yeah, 37 and a quarter. So here's the total. And then uh, the jig itself from here to here is six and a half inches. And then the wheels are from the table to the bottom of the wheels are nine and a half inches. And then I added up, did that. So I, I made my cut at 21 and a quarter. <clears throat> and uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these ground down on both sides. And then I took the uh, machinist square. Let's see if I can do this one handed. And you can see they're perfect, they're dead on. The cut's nice and sweet. And the reason the cut is so nice is uh, this saw is just badass. If you guys haven't got, got a chance to get one of these saws, these are amazing. They cut so nice. And I like it because you can cut it and you don't have to grind the edge. It's not sharp at all. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get this ground down. And I think I'm gonna put the wheels on, or put the uh, posts on first here. I'll get them welded here and come up and then I'll build the gussets and then I'll put the wheels on afterwards, but I'm not sure yet. I might just do the wheels now because I don't wanna weld upside down. So it'd be easier to put them on there and weld them and be done with it and put the gussets on. So we'll see what happens. So I kind of mocked it up. This is where we're gonna be at right here. And this is what I was talking about, about, uh, you know, I don't want to weld like this. It's better to weld it and then get it set up here where I want it. Um, a little tech, tick, tech trip, trick, <laughs> tech tip, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm using a machine square. What the problem is, is this is 90 degrees. That's 90 degrees right here off the base. So when you get your weld in there, if you get some spot welds in there, you won't be able to uh, check it out to see if it's square. And what I did is I took, years ago, I took a plastic, square and you can see I notched it right here for the weld and then when you stick that in there then that gives you room where that weld is and you can still get a 90 you can get it at 90 degrees still so you can check your weld and you can see that kind of rounded on the edges too works really good but if you guys could subscribe to my channel really appreciate it go check out our website www mnoutlawcustoms.com and then uh, we also have uh, Twitter and Instagram and all that good stuff. Appreciate it. Well, I've been welding these wheels to these uh, the tubing and then like I said, this is the flat side so I got that where I stand up. I got these two here welded on. This one's welded and this one's welded. So, And I got it welded right here and then uh, I went all the way around. And I was gonna put a gusset, but it's so strong, I don't even think I'm gonna need it. So, I mean, that's that's pretty wide. What is that, three inch by three inch or whatever it is? I don't know. So it looks like it's gonna work pretty good, nice and strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other two welded on right now. All right, well, the shop's all smoky. I wanna open up the door and let some of this air out, let some air in, whatever. So I got these all welded on. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the SkyTrack I'll get, the, get this uh, flipped over and roll it back inside the shop and check it out. And I also got this damn mower deck off. This uh, this bearing here is good, but this one froze up. It won't even turn, so I gotta change that. Easy fix. Well, I got it moved outside, and uh, now this flimsy ass cart that I have here that I do work on top of, it'll be a lot nicer because I got this one. And I rolled it around. Heidi was out here helping me, and it rolls around super nice on the ground with these big wheels. So it'll be sweet using it in a shop, putting frames and car bodies and stuff on top of. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Later.